Uh, if Myanmar was probably the greatest success story, uh, I would probably have to say that North Korea has been uh, less than a great success story. In fact, their first nuclear test was, what, three months into the president's um, term? Um, some people send greeting cards when new presidents yeah. arrive. They, they set off a nuclear test. Uh, and I remember some of your colleagues telling me that at that moment, everybody in the Obama White House basically became a North Korea hawk uh, from the moment that uh, that first test happened. And um, engagement has not been the hallmark. There have been a couple of attempts uh, back and forth, but uh, the last one was just about a year ago, February yeah. of last year, and it fell apart almost instantly. Um, a year ago, I remember visiting you, and you were still trying to figure out whether Kim Jong-un was seriously going to go look for economic reform or whether he was going to try to um, pacify the military. I think maybe this weekend we got our answer uh, on that when he said that uh, uh, more tests uh, were going to be um, needed. What's your read? Uh, if they do another test, which they've all but said they're going to do, what does that mean? Uh, what's it tell you in a bigger sense about Kim Jong-un and uh, the military and his own security uh, with, within the uh, hierarchy? Mm -hmm. Well, thanks, David. And uh, as everyone knows, the, there's, uh, there's hardly any challenge as difficult and as intractable uh, as North Korea has proven, not just for this administration, but for a succession of administrations. I think there are um, some things that we point to as uh, – as um, uh, uh, relatively positive signs, uh, but they are not uh, with regard to North Korea directly. Um, we have very close partnerships with the surrounding countries. I would say the U.S. ROK relationship has never been stronger. We've worked in a way um, on every aspect of our, our diplomacy, including respond, responding to the provocations in such a way that has elevated the U.S. ROK relationship to new heights. I think we've likewise been able um, to trilateralize certain engagements between the United States, Japan, and South Korea. And even though we do, we do not always agree on North Korea with China, the path and pace and intensity of our uh, diplomacy is uh, very strong. And so I don't think that there has been gaps uh, particularly in uh, that can be easily exploited, uh, 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 even in uh, difficult situations of the kind that you've undermined. Secondly, um, it's clear that North Korea has survived by certain kinds of economic uh, and other uh, uh, activities with uh, countries like Burma, Myanmar, other countries uh, in the Middle East. And I think through very concerted steps that have been orchestrated by the White House and Treasury and elsewhere, we've been able to curtail um, substantially some of the, those activities. Less and, missile trade. Yeah. Less and, and that has put pressure uh, undeniably uh, mm -hmm. uh, on uh, Pyongyang. Uh, it is also the case that uh, we have been very clear about what are the parameters necessary to return uh, to talks. Uh, Glenn Davis is in the region now, has had very, Glenn Davis has had, Bastards had good meetings uh, in all capitals underscoring uh, our concern and uh, uh, how we uh, uh, strongly discourage any provocative acts, including a potential uh, nuclear test or other activities. Um, I think we, uh, uh, Mr. Uh, uh, Lippert from the <coughs> Defense Department, uh, Mr. Russell from the White House and myself met with uh, uh, Chairwoman Park uh, of the um, incoming government in South Korea uh, a week and a half ago in Seoul. And it was very clear that as they go forward, they want to go forward in tandem with the United States in any uh, effort uh, to uh, uh, carefully and responsibly uh, begin a dialogue with the North. I think our message generally to China and elsewhere is uh, please uh, demonstrate very clearly that steps that are contemplated could have a deeply negative consequence in terms of creating an environment where it's difficult to resu resume the kind of well, diplomacy Kurt, that they, we all they, hope for. They've sent off any number of tests before. What, would a, what difference would a third one make? In fact, if their supply is limited, uh, one of your colleagues once suggested to me we should yeah. turn around and say, gee, I bet you can't do that again and see how much of the supply they can run through. So at this point, what, what more damage does it do? 
Well, first of all, we don't know the kind of test mm -hmm. that is anticipated, and that's something that, uh, given uh, the potential uh, things that could be involved, that could have a uh, very serious consequences. Mm -hmm. It is also the case that uh, nuclear tests uh, uh, create anxiety in allied states, create anxiety uh, uh, in China, raise tensions generally uh, in a manner that's not in our strategic interests, and further calls into question any uh, intention on the part of the leadership to abide uh, by uh, the commitments they've made to the six-party talks uh, to um, uh, move forward on denuclearization. So it's, it's uh, we're at a very delicate uh, uh, period here. We've been in very close consultation uh, with Beijing. Uh, as you saw, they worked with us behind the scenes uh, on the Security Council resolution. Uh, that was a surprise to many, but it sent a very clear message of determination, and we believe uh, that the Chinese have weighed in in no uh, uncertain terms uh, with uh, uh, Pyongyang uh, uh, to attempt to discourage uh, uh, North Korea from conducting uh, any further provocative action. 